Welcome folks, Technivers here. This is Kira. Now Kira is a 3D object slicing application. It's used in conjunction with your 3D printer to make almost anything. But how does it work? Stick around and find out. We'll go over each setting one by one, each in five minutes or less. And be sure to bookmark this playlist and hit that subscribe button. Please feel free to share. It helps us out a ton. And now without further ado, today on Kira Settings in 5 Minutes or Less 2021 Edition. Technivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivers. All right, folks, Technivers back again. As promised, we are going to talk about some TPU. Let's talk about the most important setting when printing with your TPU. Obviously, you're going to want to follow the instructions on the box, as we've mentioned, or the container or the spool itself. If none of those items have the temperature listed, go ahead and check out the website. There should be some sort of spec sheet that will tell you. We're going to skip right over the temperature settings here, and I'm not going to change them. Those are going to be pretty much filament specific, depending on which brand, because they all have different amounts of flex and things like that. So not worry about material. You're obviously going to want to check on that and make sure that you have the right temperature selected for your brand. But some of the more important things we need to look at are going to be some of these other settings. Now, I haven't discussed this setting too much when printing with ABS or, or PLA because you can really max it out and you won't have too many issues. Obviously, the slower you print, the better your quality is going to be. But when you're printing with TPU, speed is going to be your most important factor. Uh, you're going to want to take this down to probably somewhere around 30 to 35 millimeters per second if you have a, a Bowden setup. Um, and lower is better. So if you can tolerate 15 millimeters per second, you're going to get a better result because you'll get less binding in the Bowden. Now, printing with TPU is a lot easier if you have a direct drive mechanism and you can do a lot higher speeds and get the same quality. But since most printers out there, such as the Ender 3 and the TiVo Tarantula Pro and the Prusa Mini and things like that are, are Bowden setups, I think it's important that we cover settings for printing these items with Bowden. And the most important thing that you need to remember is slow is as good as it gets. So the slower you can tolerate printing, the better your quality is going to be. And that's because TPU has a really, really spongy quality to it. And if you try to push too much into the Bowden tube with the extruder too fast, it can bind around the extruder gears and you start to have some real issues. So just remember, low and slow on the speed. We want to go as slow as we can possibly stand. Not too slow. I mean, you don't want to make the machine creep. You want it to be actually depositing filament and building up those layers, but not so fast that it's leaving air gaps in your model or causing binding in your extrusion process. And cooling is another thing that we need to talk about for a TPU, and this is something that's debated quite a bit. Some people say you want high cooling. Some people say you want no cooling. Some people say you want cooling in the mid-range. And this is one of those settings that, like I said, is going to depend very much on the brand of TPU that you get. You might get a flexi material and it might not actually even be TPU. It might be some other blend of plastics that they found that make an elastic like polymer like that and your settings could be completely different. But in that case you're still dealing with something that stretches or has elasticity and the speed is going to be a really important factor so for everything else on your tpu print you're going to want to find that spec sheet it's a very specialized type of printing material and if you want any sort of good results you're going to want to follow the manufacturer's directions pretty much to the t just remember decrease that speed because they don't generally talk about that on spec sheets once in a while you'll get lucky with a really thorough brand and they will let you know that hey this is the optimal printing speed for this setup and then you should go with that so i know this seems a little bit cryptic and vague but i just wanted to point out that if you're printing tpu even with direct drive as i said i cannot reiterate enough that speed is the most important factor and slower is going to get you a much better quality print well that's it guys that's going to wrap up this video if you've noticed the shirt the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers. And so far, I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel. But they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out. And know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability 
to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.